All right, what up? It's uh, Zach from Ten Point Nothing. So this right here, um, if you guys are watching the finish of the tournament, if you're watching Dallas and Soros, uh, did I say that right? Sure. Um, he trains with uh, Cummings and stuff, and this was uh, a leg lock entry that he was working. And we were kind of working it a couple of weeks before, but we weren't sure exactly, and now we know exactly what we're working on, right? So the guy would step in the middle to try to pass, and he'd basically be in spiral right here, right? So spiral clinch. Again, even with the spiral, I'm not really even doing spiral like this anymore because um, I and many people have gotten their foot blown off. So what I'll do is put my foot underneath here and then squeeze over top right here, right? So I am still framing away, um, but this is how I'm kind of playing my spiral now, right? Well, I'll go over that in some other videos, but my, my arm is gonna, I'm gonna let my leg go, I'm gonna, or I can keep it here and it's gonna shoot my arm underneath like this, right? And then right as I do that, my other leg has to come over top. Now you might be thinking, is he gonna go to one of those weird knee, knee bar type things? And the answer is no, because that one is tough to get on high level guys. Most of the time what will happen here is if the guy keeps trying to pass, he'll be able to elevate him over his head. If you're gonna grab the second leg, if that's your steez, that's fine. But then his leg comes out and just goes over top. And the conversation we were just having with Zach, um, what I was just having with Zach here too, is he likes to rear naked choke grip this leg. I, I never really did that, um, but I'm gonna start doing it just to try to hold that knee line. Um, but what's interesting also about this, this arm being here, and however I'm controlling his leg, in this situation, it's hard for him to hit the escape. Like if he tries to do the runaway escape, right, I can kind of keep his leg in there for just a little bit. Now obviously I'm not gonna sit here. Once I get this, I wanna be using my legs and using this to bend, and I use my body to bend in too. And then if he's gonna punch that away, should be able to get that heel hook pretty easy um, once you get him over. So that's pretty interesting, so I'll do the transition a couple times. We're figuring it out, all right? So it steps in, boom, I'm here again, I'm playing spiral like this. My arm's going underneath and I'm throwing my leg over, right? Now sometimes you also got um, where you can come up around and come back. And maybe I'll here go ahead and roll over the shoulder, right? And then we roll and then I'm coming up and trying to get back to his leg in that situation too, right? So you're gonna find a lot of transitions you know, off of that. It just depends on what the guy's doing, right? So just that first part, we don't even have to go to the leg lock again, just to show people right from here. So again, I'm in spiral. Maybe he's, you know, he's trying to crash down, trying to keep him up. This arm goes here and then I gotta get that other leg in there. Right, and who knows what's gonna happen from here, right? If he rolls over top, you know, that's great. I might try to come up with him, just try to go right in from legs. All right, so that's from Finisher Sub Only Breakdown, Finisher's MMA. Bua, can I do? Bua. 10